Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install OpenFoam 24.12 on Windows 11. And to do this, I'm going to use this Windows subsystem uh, for Linux. So let me jump across to my Windows. So uh, Linux is primarily developed on, or sorry, OpenFoam is primarily developed on Linux. Uh, so to install Linux easily on uh, Windows, we're going to use this WSL. Uh, method, which is basically like a lightweight virtual machine. So it's, it's an easy way you can kind of install Linux as an app and Linux is an operating system. So the first thing to do is if you search for PowerShell, if you open up PowerShell and run this command. So WSL install, and then you can give uh, the version. So I'm going to install 2404 here. So this is a relatively recent version of um, Ubuntu and Ubuntu is uh, the most popular uh, type or flavor of Linux. So if you run that, it'll only take uh, maybe a minute or so, depending on your internet connection. I've already done it, so I'm going to not do it now. Uh, it will download Ubuntu and then you'll see it'll install it, which is like maybe a minute as well. And then it'll ask you for a username. So it'll pick up the username from your uh, Windows. So you can, you can set a separate uh, username and password for the Linux because it's its own operating system which is going to live inside this WSL. So just remember what the password is. When you're typing the password and you'll have to do this twice, it won't show the characters as you type as a security measure. So it is actually recognizing the typing. So just type, it just won't show the characters appearing. So once you've done that, uh, it may ask you to reinstall. That's fine as well. Uh, but once you've done that, then you should be able to uh, search here for Ubuntu. So you can see there's Ubuntu here. So if you click to open, uh, this will open the actual Ubuntu terminal. So this is a fully functional uh, Linux uh, system right here. So within this Linux system, uh, the first step is we want to install OpenFoam. So we only have to install OpenFoam uh, once. So to do that, uh, I'll just go to the OpenFoam website. So OpenFoam has a bunch of different versions or variants or forks. So openfoam.com and .org are two different companies, two different, slightly different versions of OpenFoam. So we're going to do OpenFoam 2412 here. So if you click this, it'll bring you here and we're going to go to the instructions for Ubuntu Linux. So I'll click this and I basically just have to run these commands to install uh, OpenFoam in this Linux. So I'll copy that and I'll go back here and I'll paste. And uh, because it's a system-wide installation, it will ask for my password. So this is the password that you selected for um, that you uh, that you typed in when you were doing the installation uh, for uh, your your Linux Ubuntu. So this is going to um, update the, the system installation files. Yeah, okay, so I just paused it there. Well, it uh, took a minute to find that. Go to the next one here. So I'll copy and paste this one in as well. And on this, and I'll, I'll pause again while I'm waiting for these to complete. So those two commands are basically just adding uh, the OpenFoam um, website as a place where you can install software from. And then the actual installation step is, is this one here. I paste that in and then press enter. And I'll pause the video while, while that's running. It might take a few minutes. Yeah, you can see actually here, it says, are you sure you want to install these things? Uh, so you can type capital Y for yes or N for no. But if you just press enter, the capital uh, letter is the default. So if I just press uh, enter, it'll uh, just take the default, which is yes. So I'll pause the video while that's running. OK, it's finally finished. Uh, that actually probably took five minutes or so. So uh, it printed out lots of things here as I was installing and downloading things. Uh, so that's OpenFoam 24.12 installed. So how do we use it? Just a quick check. So I'm just pressing Enter on the keyboard just to move down the line. Um, so you, with OpenFoam 24.12, uh, to load OpenFoam 24.12, they set it up so you could have multiple versions in parallel. So you actually type. Uh, as it says here, OpenFoam 2412. So each time you open Ubuntu, if you want to um, launch an OpenFoam 2412 session, you just type OpenFoam 2412 and it goes like this. Um, so I can just check, say simplephone dash help. SimpleFoam is just a, a common a safety solver within OpenFoam. So if I just go dash help, you can see that everything worked fine here. So let's just check everything works fine. And um, last thing to check is, um, 
to use power view with inside here um the easiest thing is just to download power view directly for your for your uh, windows so if you just go power view download and then just click the top one and just install that directly uh, on your windows so not in the in the linux itself so when you go to run a case you're going to run them in your run directory so some of the other tutorials will, will show you this but the very first time you install a version of open foam you will create this run directory with this command um, and then you can navigate to it uh, which is located here and then when you run a model so i could just quickly run a model here just to check it all works so i'll go uh, foam tutorials and this will be covered in some of the other ones uh, uh, incompressible icofoam cavity cavity now i'm just going to copy this and we're going to cover this in the other ones go inside cavity um, and then I run block mesh and icofoam. So that ran fine. And then if you run a command explorer.exe space dot, that will open up a Windows Explorer to show you where the case is. And so if we go touch case.foam, that makes a blank file uh, called uh, case.foam. Let me just open that again. Uh, so you can open this in PowerView when you've PowerView installed. So that ends this video.